so it's Saturday and that means explaining technology about Mother Bella Day. So this is the second in the series and today we're talking about touch senses. Now I'm going to put her to sleep again because she's just <laughs> too noisy. So just lie down and she'll go to sleep. Um, I've got with me as well uh, Bertie again because um, the Plio RB I think is the best example of any robot that uses touch sensors. It's got touch sensors just all over but first of all we'll talk about the fella. So she has got um, a touch sensor in that room. A touch sensor in that foot, touch sensor in the other foot, and a touch sensor in the chest, and that's it, just three. Um, go to sleep. <laughs> right, so what is a touch sensor? What is it made up of? So, Paul, you're going to talk us through some of this. So, what you'll have on the skin will be something like this. Yeah, this is copper foil, copper foil tape. This is what a touch sensor looks like. If you were to look inside Love the Bellow, it's a piece of uh, copper foil tape or something similar, al aluminium. Um, aluminium sometimes. Aluminium, but it's normally copper foil. So you'd have this copper foil tape and that's stuck on the inside of the foot and a wire would go back for it, back to the electronics, the microcontroller. Yeah, so that's what it would look like. Shush, baby. <laughs> yeah, so copper foil, that would be soldered there to the wire and the wire would go back to the microcontroller. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Where do you think the microcontroller is? In Love and Bella. Do you think it's maybe in the torso? It's either in the torso or the head, isn't it? Um, I don't know, I think I'd say the torso, but I don't really know. Hmm. Well, well, you can only guess because we haven't peaked. <laughs> inside mm -hmm. okay so you have one wire oops one wire going from the touch sensor which will be on the inside of her foot yeah. against the skin how does it work because i just want to say something if you touch her foot with um not your hand but like a pen and go like this yeah nothing yeah. will happen that's right yeah so how is it that touching a foot with your finger causes that oh, okay. to work? Okay, it, I suppose it's a bit technical, but we'll, we'll try and keep it not too technical. This piece of copper foil, no panties on. this piece of copper foil, which will be on the inside of a foot, it has a, an electrical quality called capacitance. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and this will go back to the microcontroller. So, it's let's say let's put some numbers on it. Let's say it's got uh, a value of ten. You're starting to lose me here, you mind, Paul. Okay, so it's got a, it's got a, a, an electrical quality called capacitance, here, yeah, which the microcontroller is measuring on this wire. Yeah. Mm. Uh, no, you, I if, think, if I think you told me before that it had something to do with moisture. No, not really. Not if, really. But if if you've got an object such as a human being, which is um, uh, so we're sort of filled with liquid, aren't we? We like this. I knew moisture come into it. Yeah, somewhere. sacks of liquid. If if I go close to this piece of um, electric, uh, uh, to this piece of copper foil, foil, it will alter the value of capacitance. Which means? Which means that it's it's a, a quantity that's changing, like a light level or a temperature. But this happens to be capacitance, and it's to do with how close you are to it with your hand or other part of your body. And of course, if that volume changes, it's something that the microcontroller mm -hmm. can measure. But why does it putting a pen against it not work? It's a good question, uh, and the answer is really quite technical. Um, it, the the uh, copper foil has got an electric field around it. Right. And it's the way that your body interacts with the electric field. It's a very weak, small electric field. And it's the way that your body interacts with it um, and it interacts differently with it and affects it more than, say, this plastic pen would. 
Although, on the other hand, if I had a large metal object and I brought it close to Love of Bella's foot, it may well alter the value enough. Really? Trick. Yeah, it's, it's, but it's generally most things don't act like the human body in, right. in, in varying the level. I didn't know of that, capacitance. so I've learned something. So it may be possible to trigger a touch sensor not just with um, a person touching it, but yeah. through some other object. It may be possible, yeah. Be Putting possible. it on the ground outside if you stood Love of Bella's feet on the soil. Or maybe if you had, a, a, say, a pile of wet laundry and you put Lover Bella's feet on the laundry or something like that, it may trigger it. Mm. Right, so it, and it has got something to do with the being a liquid content and the thing that's... You could say that, yeah. Rough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. For, for us who are not technical to yeah. try and understand it. So your hand goes close to the foot. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to touch the foot. Yeah, that's interesting yeah. as well. Mm. Um, so now that that uh, the reason why you have to touch the foot or may just need to be close is that all to do with the programming yeah i mean let's say the value of this let's just put a number on it because it's easy to talk about the numbers the microcontroller is measuring a value of 10 okay yeah the units of capacitance called right. peak of hours. let's say it's measuring a value of 10 if you, as you get close to it, it goes from 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and it, it increases. Yeah? And at some point, the microcontroller, the program in it, will be uh, written to recognise the change from its normal value of not being touched, which might be, say, for instance, about 10, up to 16 when your hand gets very close or touches a foot, and then the microcontroller will say, right, it's triggered, and then... It'll do something in the program, like make a laugh because it thinks you're tickling the feet. Mm. So when they, the when the people working at Spin Master and um, program the doll, they would decide: do we on, want on people what? to actually touch it, yeah, phys make yeah. contact, or do we want them to be close? And yeah. they alter the number. That's right. Yeah. So they'll, they'll calibrate it. They'll mm. they'll probably. Uh, calibrate it so that the, you really want to touch Love of Bella's yeah. feet because I mean it's the act of tickling a human foot which makes somebody mm -hmm. laugh isn't it so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know you wouldn't want it to be triggered by your hand being here you would really want it to be triggered only when you, you touch uh, the foot. Now uh, another thing that they said in, in one of Spin Master's videos they said that um, a tap works best. Well that, this is interesting isn't it because uh, the microcontroller inside Love of Bella is measuring this value of capacitance all the time. So let's say roughly it's around about 10. Now if you touch it with your hand, the value might go from 10 to 20, so it triggers something in the program. But the program that's measuring it can tell the difference between a touch which is continuous and a touch which is like this. So a short touch. Well, uh, short repeated touches with a time interval mm. in it, which which is probably something you might do if you're tickling. Tickling, it. Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, why so the, done it like that. the program inside Love of Bella can distinguish between a continuous touch or a touch which is more of a tickling touch, right. which is a touch in um, with a, a sort of time interval. It's not interval. continuous. Yeah, it's, it's like not continuous. It's touch break touch break touch. Right, I see. So that's a clever way of telling two different types of touches. That's interesting as well because. The one in um, her chest, if you put your hand on and you leave your hand on, if you put your hand on her chest and you leave your hand on her chest for a while, then you'll hear the heartbeat. Yeah, it, it puts, So that has to be continuous. Yes, it puts you into the mode. If you keep your hand there and you keep it there, the microcontroller knows that because it's been, say, your hand's been touching it for three or four seconds and it yeah. puts her into the mode where it makes her go quiet and then you can hear the heartbeat. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's a clever program and inside which is determining the different types yeah. of touch through the touch sensors. Yeah. And, uh, but this touch sensor in a chest you can also be used in the same way as a feet. If you tickle her, she will giggle. I believe so. If you do this, doesn't she? It starts. Oh, like, and she does that. Yeah, <laughs> they're like raspberries, like going, <laughs> which yeah. is really funny. Yeah. Um, so it's the same sensor. They're using yeah. one sensor, but different kinds of touch. 
Um, once, yes, the same. But I mean, one sensor in the chest. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Is mm -hmm. is is capable of picking up different types of touch. Yeah, yeah. So you're getting different reactions. How you yeah, use it. Yeah, but it's it. the programming that's it's the programming on the microcontroller yeah, that which, which is working one, that out. Because yeah. it's just one. Because I mean, chest. the sensor itself is very similar. It's mm. Very simple. It's just a piece of copper foil and a wire. You know, yeah. you can get much simpler than that, mm. could you? There was something else that I wondered. I thought. I don't know if you've got any idea. These legs, yeah, there aren't any. I can't see any joins on them. I mean, if they've been joined, the the reason I ask is, when we've taken things apart before, Spin Master toys, um, they normally hard shell with um screws. You can take them apart and they come back apart in two clear halves, and. There's easy access, so there'll be easy access for them to put all the components mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. um, but with because this is a doll, they don't want joins and screws. You mean there were no join marks on the side of the yeah, legs or anything like yeah. that? Yeah, and I'm thinking, well, how did they put that that tape in there and have the wire going up? That's a good question, isn't it? Um, well... I don't know. Obviously, the leg's hollow. Uh, there are other things you can use instead of copper foil. You can use conductive paint. So, I mean, maybe if this leg's hollow in the, in the manufacturing process, they sort of get a paintbrush and, you know, paint some conductive paint on the bottom. But I think it would be, I think it would be probable, possible to make something like that up. See this uh, copper foil sticky? Yeah, it's got an but adhesive solid. film on one side. Yeah. And then push well, it down in the leg. Maybe put like a tool down. Yeah, maybe you have a special tool and you, you, you make sure that it's uh, stuck on the inside mm. of uh, the bottom of the sole. I do wonder though, I do wonder because... It would be I interesting say, to see, wouldn't it, how they do it. Yeah, mm. I mean if we could get a broken doll maybe next year, I would like to see, mm -hmm. you know, how it works properly mm. inside. Because I, I don't think, I wonder how they put that in. Um, that that was everything I. I so Lover Bell's only got three about. touch sensors, has she? Yeah. One in each foot and one in the chest. Yeah. He's got a lot more, hasn't he? He has, ever so many. I, I I think we'll switch him on because the touch sensors. She just put my child on the floor. It's <laughs> no way to cheat a child. Right. Um. Looking for the on switch. The the on switch is here. Oh. I can tell you don't play with Bertie much. There. Right, um, Bertie, oh, he's got loads of touch sensors. He's got, oh, that's better. He's not woken up, has he? Hey, well, you don't have to hold it in, you just switch no. it on. You leave, there, oh, there see, he is. he's okay. waking, he's booting up, he's booting up. So how many, to while, how many touch flower. sensors has Bertie got then? Let's see, he's got one here. Yeah. He's got one. Here. And again, they like we, we know that it's copper foil on on we have seen Cleos, inside. We've seen inside one, haven't mm. we? So he's got one in his head, one under his chin. Uh, he's got yeah, yeah, yeah. I've finished with the head, yeah. Uh huh. He's got one there. Oh, he's got one on each cheek. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's hungry. Um, I know he's got at least two on his back. I know he's got one here and one here. Yes. Um, he's he's got, got them at top of le the legs. Top of the legs, yeah. Sort of on the what hip joints. There. On the hips, yeah. On on the other side. Is that it? I think I think that's it. But so that's, that's one, two, lot. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. About eleven to twelve touch has, sensors, yeah. In fact, I, I think I remember reading in the manual that he had twelve, mm, mm. which is a lot. I've never seen anywhere near that on any other. No, Robot these touch sensors. For, <laughs> these touch sensors. You can't for, see where he's going. <laughs> these touch sensors for Bertie. Actually, he's got some clothes on. They actually work through the clothes. Through the clothes. But interestingly, I put some um, booties on the Bella. They were quite thin, and they made no difference. So they still work through the she's booties. Still, yeah. She's still. She's yeah. still. Um, you could still tickle her feet. So you can perfectly. tell a touch sensor is a, a proximity thing rather than a. A contact thing. Yeah, because you don't. Yeah, because if they've got clothes, you're not actually contacting, mm -hmm. but they they can yeah. still feel it. Yeah. Yeah. I know with Bertie, um, it's it's probably difficult to show now, but he can distinguish uh, between uh, distinguish between a touch and a stroke because what's happening yeah. when you're stroking, you're going from one touch sensor to the middle one to the end one, yes. and the programming can pick that up, can't it? Mm -hmm. Which is very mm -hmm. clever. Mm -hmm. And I know, say, for instance, if you touch opposing legs as well. Yes, they can do tricks. They can do tricks, yeah. yeah. Can we get him to do that? Shall I see if I can get him he's, to do he's, it? I think he's far too hungry. Is he? Okay. Yes, he's, he's not, not been fed he's for got a, a mind while. Of his own, I'm not being a good 
robots over so there. The touch sensors in Bertie look exactly like that because we've uh, we've had a Clio apart yeah. to try and fix a broken mm. one, and uh, there's co little bits of copper right. foil like that mm. all over here. Oh, we've got to stop. We're nearly on 15 okay. minutes. But well, I think we said everything anyway. So tune in next week for more technology. <laughs>